What's up guys, Taklash here and today we're going to talk about another flagship device that is coming out from Samsung called the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Now FE in this regard stands for the fan edition but this time around Samsung is basically trying to launch their light series device without actually calling it the lighter variant. So with S10 we saw the S10 Lite and with Note 10 we saw the Note 10 Lite but with S20 we didn't see the S20e in the first place and then when there was a time to launch S20 Lite we are getting reports that Samsung is actually going to call that device Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Now naming aside this device is going to be one of the better devices you can buy for the price tag because this device is actually going to be under $800 and this device just might be the first device under $800 uh, to provide you 120Hz refresh rate from Samsung. Now this is a big deal because if you know in the recent announcement when Samsung launched their Note 20, their Note 20 device which is their flagship device was not having the 120Hz display, it had a 60Hz display and to get to 120Hz you had to pay some premium to buy the Note 20 Ultra. S20 FE although shares its name with the S20 series but the internals and the camera setup is surely going to resemble more towards the Note 20 series than it resembles the S20 series. So for example if you talk about the cameras it is tipped that the camera setup on this one is going to be the exact camera setup you find on Samsung Galaxy Note 20, the vanilla edition. Also looking under the hood, uh, the power that this device provides is also going to be quite similar to what you would find on Samsung Galaxy Note 20. So basically you are going to see an Exynos variant with Exynos 990 and there is also going to be a Snapdragon variant with Snapdragon 865 so depending upon where you buy it you are going to get multiple variants out of this device and this device is also going to support 5G out of the box that means uh, in 5G markets there will be a 5G addition for this device. Another interesting change that Samsung is going to make with the S20 FE is going to be the build because this time around with Samsung Galaxy S20 FE we are going to see a plastic build which is quite similar to what we find on the Note 20. Now this is something that has been criticized when the Note 20 was launched and this is something that nobody is welcoming because of the fact that Samsung uh, in the recent past have been providing us some of the better builds but recently we saw that with Note 20 they gave out a plastic phone and now there are rumors that they are going to launch another flagship device with a plastic build. Now it is okay for me to use a plastic device if it is a mid-range device but when it comes to a flagship device or anything uh, frankly above $500 it becomes very difficult for anyone to justify a plastic build but I want to know what are your thoughts and opinions regarding the Samsung Galaxy uh, S20 FE and I want to know uh, whether you would buy this device or not and if you want to see this device on this channel do subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one till then take care goodbye